Yeah, nice to be back in Madison. Two home games this week uh, after a short trip out to Rutgers. Didn't get the result we we had hoped. Lost three nothing to to Rutgers. And compliment to them, um, they made us pay for some mistakes that we made. Um, this is always a great week. Uh, you know, we got a non-conference game at home, and then to turn around and play Penn State. It's uh, it's our alumni event. We're actually going to acknowledge and, and give a small gift to all the past winners of the Bill Redden Spirit of Soccer um, guys that will be back in town. And then also it's the night where we honor Bram Dornstein and, and obviously Sherry, who was a big part of the athletic department as well. So it's a big week for us. Um, you know, it would be great to see some alums and, and hopefully our guys will step up their performance this week. Questions for Coach? Brian? I know it's been a tough stretch here, so how do you guide these young men to the end of the regular season, and then who knows, I suppose, what happens? Well, we're fortunate in men's soccer. All, all nine teams do get into uh, the Big Ten playoffs. Um, you know, there's kind of a hierarchy right now. There's a few teams up, up there, and then there's some teams that, uh, you know, we actually play going down the stretch here that uh, are still, you know, within shouting distance. Um, we've got half of our Big Ten schedule left. We only have one more non-conference game, so we'll be able to completely focus on our Big Ten schedule uh, down the stretch here. And uh, points being made to the kids are, you know, being a little bit more disciplined, a little bit more, you know, you, you look around this building and, and you watch it on a Saturday afternoon with our football team, you know, tough, reliable, dependable. Uh, we were speaking about that in a film session yesterday. L little things make the difference in college athletics. And, uh, you know, huge compliment to some of the other sports that are that seem to have those things right now uh, on this campus. And we're striving for it. We're, we're trying to get there. The guys, you know, we're showing signs. We made a couple tweaks in the lineup that we thought gave us a little bit better chance uh, to be successful. And then, unfortunately, in the 66th minute, we... We don't all maybe do our jobs in that one moment and we give up a goal and Big Ten's tough. You know, it, uh, it, you're not going to turn around and score three goals going the other way on the road, um, especially against that Rutgers team. So you know, it was another learning experience for us. That's, uh, that's what we need to do right now is just continue to grow as a group. Todd. You talk about little things making a difference and um, I'm wondering if when you're hunting goals, when you're looking for this, some scoring up, but how important is that? And just, you know, guys making connections, guys finding spots. Is, is that a little bit of what's lacking a little bit, just those fine details? Yeah, I think sometimes reading each other uh, from the run of play, and but also just set pieces. Um, you look at our, our last couple of Big Ten games, you know, we, we've lost on set pieces. And when you're struggling to score goals from the run of play, which is often the norm in collegiate soccer, we play a lot of games, close proximity to each other, um, teams defend well, it's hard to score from the run of play. Can we find a way to get the ball in the net, you know, by a set piece? But that means everybody taking care of their business in that moment from the server to the runners to the guys that are there for the recirculation. And, you know, credit Rutgers, they, they did it right and were rewarded for it. And... You know, that was the big emphasis of the film work yesterday. And then we showed some things we we're doing a little bit better. It's not quite a winning formula right now. Um, we're hoping in the near future it's going to be. Uh, tomorrow will be another opportunity. We'll give some of our, our guys that haven't been playing a lot since it's a non-conference game. We'll take a look at a couple guys because we, we could use a little bit more help off the bench. Um, and hopefully these guys are going to grab that opportunity. Brian? Who is the class of the Big Ten, would you say, right now? You know, Indiana beat Penn State uh, recently. Indiana's sitting, I believe, at 3-0-0 uh, or 4-0-0 right now. Um, Penn State is a very good team. We'll see them on Saturday night. Very well coached. They've got a lot of older players. Uh, they're athletically gifted. Um, it, w it will be a great test for us. You know, you never count Maryland out. It's funny, and a lot of times at this point of the season, you're looking at Maryland, you're saying, you know, they're not at one and two in the Big Ten. Before you know it, they're in a Big Ten final. Before you know it, they're in a national championship. And uh, they play a heck of a schedule. So 
maybe they're not there midseason, but at the end of the day, they're also a very good team. Michigan played Indiana very well yesterday. I guess they lost one nothing in Bloomington. They're a good squad. We still got them upcoming. So there's, like in any sport in the Big Ten, there's a ton of parity. Um, there's a lot of great players. There's a lot of great teams. Um, when you're having a season like ours, you know, can you can you close it close it to where you got a chance? I think is what we're looking for right now. And as I told the guys, you know, we were we were tied with Indiana. 14 minutes left in the game. Uh, we were tied with Michigan State. Lost three minutes into overtime. We tied defending national champ Maryland, zero zero. And we were in a pretty good place going into the second half, I felt, at Rutgers, maybe to get something out of the game. And even if you don't score, as I've always told the guys, if you end every game 0-0, we would be sitting on four points. We'd be sitting, you know, not obviously in the uh, cellar dweller right now. We'd be, we'd be in the middle, you know, the pack, per se. Now we've got some, some work to do to get back in the pack.